hello guys and welcome to python programming tutorials by amuls academy today in this tutorial we are continuing our discussion on the exception handling in the previous tutorial we discussed about how to handle exception using try and accept block today we are discussing about raising exceptions that is using raise statement programmer can force the exception to occur for example as I said, we need to use raise statement R A I S E and I'll raise value error. And we can pass the arguments here and I'll enter. And here we can see this is a value error. Okay. Or we can raise name error. If you want we can mention the arguments or just mention the name of the error and enter we can see name error okay we will see one example for this first I will use try block and in try block first we will ask the user to enter an input in this program we will check whether the entered input is a positive number or not so num is my variable and I want an integer value so int input enter the number now we'll use if condition num is less than or equal to zero then raise the value error exception It is not positive number and now we'll use except value error as we'll take one variable I'll call this as error and I'll print this error okay now I'll save this and run this enter the number I'll enter 0 and it will give that is not positive number right here in the try block we'll ask the user to enter the input and we'll check whether entered input is less than or equal to 0 if it is true then we know it is not a positive number so we raise the exception that is value error and here we printed this error message we can use another clause with the try block that is finally and this finally clause will execute in any situation that is whether exception will occur or not the finally clause will be executed so we'll see an example for try and finally clause we'll take factorial program for that i'll import math module and I'll ask the user to enter the input I want integer input and in the try block I'll take another variable and I'll call math.factorial and num I'll print this result okay now I'll use finally clause finally and here I'll print goodbye okay now we'll save this and run this so we'll enter input I'll enter 5 120 this is result and we can say goodbye message here we entered the value 5 so 
it will perform the computation and it will print the result as i said finally clause will execute in any condition so then it will go to the finally and this message is printed okay now again i'll run this program now i'll enter a negative number that is minus 6 so we can see this goodbye message and trace back error right here exception is occurred and it is handled by the python so it will show the trace back error and here we can also see goodbye message in this condition also finally clause will be executed this finally clause is used to free the external resources okay this is about the exception handling in python it is just the introduction to the exception handling okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care